how many times a year do we need to get a seasonal flu vaccine? Doc, importante pala to. Sa abroad kasi sometimes you get it twice a year. Pwede na ba yung once a year here in the Philippines? Thank you, Doc. Yeah, actually, the recommendation in the U.S., you know, in many different countries, including the Philippines, is once a year. Okay? So, dapat talaga, lumalabas yan usually mga July or June, or sometimes May, no? Kasi ang nangyayari dyan, ang, ang flu kasi, parang ano yan eh, uh, it changes a lot, no? Yung virus mismo, every year, parang nag-change sila. May mga certain properties sa kanila nag-change, kung baga... Parang mutate? Change fashion. Oo, oh, mutate. No? Change fashion sila. Something like that, no? And th that change, no? Causes, uh, yun na nga, either mas malakas sila, hindi sila tinatablan ng old vaccines. So, every year, yung mga scientifico na gumagawa ng vaccine, they adapt. So, kung, kung yung, ano ba yung trend, no? So, they will pattern the vaccine to to against the ano the the new strains no so every year may bagong flu vaccine and it's recommended once a year from 6 month old and beyond oh okay good morning LV Junisho ang si may tatanong pa ako diyan tungkol sa vaccine so kung nagpa flu vaccine ka doc hindi ka 100% hindi ka tatamaan ng trangkaso unfortunately the flu vaccine is only 50% uh, effective. A 50 Meaning, lang. Oh, oh, 50 per, you, there's a 50% chance that it will it will work to prevent you from getting influenza or trangkaso. I but will. the good news, may good news naman, no? Pangit kasi kung 50% lang eh. Pero the good news is kung magkaroon ka ng, ng trangkaso, influenza uh, condition, there will be a 90% chance that it will not be severe. Kung baga, yeah. ang naging positive okay. sa kanya is nare-reduce niya, nababawasan niya yung chance na maging grabe at magkaroon ng komplikasyon yung, yung trangkaso. Yeah, but 50% is better than zero, di ba? Pero pwede oh, bang yeah. isa pa yun kung may flu vaccine ka na, magpaturo ka rin ng COVID-19 vaccine? Oh, definitely. Oh, okay. what, but the, we're we're going to wait, of course, for the res, the results of the vaccine trials. Mukang promising eh. But uh, definitely, uh, it will be an add-on to the current adult immunization recommendations namin. Okay. The vaccine po pang bata pang matanda. Yeah. Oh, six months. Yung ano? Yung trangkaso. Dapat binibigyan ng vaccine. Oh, six months old, pataas. Pwede na pala, no? Six months old pa lang po, pwede na. Yung Six mga old, elderly po natin, mas prone. Dati kasi nga, akala ko yung, yung mga ganitong vaccine, yung matanda lang, hindi pala. Hindi. Yeah. Um, actually, yung, when we, we have high-risk groups, yung mga vulnerable population for influenza, yun yung mga, um, mga sobrang bata, no? And yung mga elderly. And yung mga may condition, no? Diabetic, cardiovascular, heart condition, lung condition, uh, HIV, no, yung mga nagki-chemotherapy, may mga may hina yung immune system, umiinom ng steroids daily. Yun yeah. yung mga talagang prone na magkaroon ng problema or komplikasyon sa trangkaso. So yun yung mga mas pinoprotektahan natin kung magkakaroon sila. Yun yung mga mas lalong kailangan gamutin using antiviral medications. No? Okay, ipagpalagay natin na meron kang trangkaso. Doc Advisable ba? I-advise mo ba na pumunta sila sa doktor for sa hospital for a checkup or not at this time nakakatakot pumunta ng hospital? Well, um, if you're really feeling very bad, no, and if you feel that you're worsening, no, um, you need to go to the hospital. It's actually very safe in the hospital, no? Okay. Kasi alam niyo kung bakit? Doon sa hospital, everyone is you know wearing mask, mm -hmm. face shield physical distancing no actually ang nakita namin sa uh, aming findings no is mas maraming well syempre pag when you're in contact with patients who have covid yung mga health practitioner syempre mayroon silang risk no but dun sa mga hindi naman humaharap sa mga covid pasyente no sa community actually nila nakikita nakukuha no even our some of our many of our hospital staff no nakukuha nila outside the hospital no or in the hospital, pero not from patients. Pero dahil kumakain sila together, no? kasi nagtatanggalan sila ng mga face shield and mask nila 
uh, pag kumakain sila together. So many times, they get it in the community, in the grocery, no? Kasi hindi ka na, hindi ka, well, mas, pro, mas naka, ano kayo, mas naka on guard ka sa hospital. Eh. So you're really uh, wearing all those protective equipment in the hospital. So yan po, ah, mali, mali po pala yung notion ko. Ah. Kasi ako pa, pa dok, parang natatakot ako pumunta, magpa-check up. Kasi baka ako, lalo na ako ang hospital ay may mga COVID patients. Hindi ba nakakatako? Baka lumilipad-lipad yung virus na sa erido. Hindi, hindi ba ganun? Ang, ang, ang COVID kasi, ang most common na, na, na way that you can get COVID is through droplet, no? Droplet is, pag hinga mo, may malabas na virus or umubo, virus, kasama yung saliva, laway, tubig, etc. Bumabagsak yan in three feet, within three feet, no? So, kaya nga tayo naka face mask, shield, no, etc. So, kasi, lalo na pag nakaganong ka, hindi, hindi na siya, hindi siya um, magsispread, no? Uh, that's why, no, in the hospital, pag lahat nakaganon, kunwari, ako may sakit, nakaganon ako, ikaw, walang sakit, nakaganon ka rin, mabang mababa yung chance. And that's why we, we always, uh, no fail, no, we always say, wear your face masks, your shield, physical distance, no? And then wash your hands before you touch your eyes, nose, and mouth. Okay. Yeah. So you face shield actually is a, ano eh, is a um, equivalent of distance. Kung may mga pagkakataon na hindi mo kaya mag one meter distance, yung sa ganyang ka, no? Yeah. Yung face shield actually is an equivalent to that. Now, which means it's relatively safer to go to a hospital for your checkup than go to a supermarket or a wet market, or a or mall, or whatever. Diba, Doc? Just treat everything the same, no? Okay? Kasi pag, if, you're, if you're taking care of yourself, no? Uh, guarding yourself, wherever you go these days, no? The less chance that uh, you will get coronavirus. Okay. Tibi? No, Ted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good ka talaga, Doc. Doc, ito ang tanong naman, bakit kapag lumalamig yung panahon, mas madami nagkakatrangkaso. Um, ano ang koneksyon ng lamig ng panahon sa trangkaso, Doc? At mas at risk ba tayo kapag may COVID at ganito ang klaseng panahon? Yeah. So, in other countries and in our country, you know, uh, pag lumalamig talaga, that's a good environment for the virus, no? Um, pero mas swerte yung ibang, ano eh, yung ibang uh, mga countries. Tayo kasi, whole year round yung yung influenza season natin no although may peak tayo pag lumalamig ka june to december no and then uh, february and march no so yun yung mga times na tumataas pag malamig nga no in the for example in the states no pag pa winter na sila doon tumataas no kasi the the the, uh, the weather is good for the virus no pero so sa atin whole year round although may peaks naman tayo may peaks din tayo Okay. Then, tanong, si Lawrence Pusta. Um, doc, how about pneumonia vaccine? How many times kailangan magpa-vaccine? And if meron ka ng pneumonia vaccine, safe po ba magpa-COVID vaccine? Thank you, Doc. Yeah. Pneumonia vaccine will depend on your uh, conditions. No? So, for the pneumonia vaccine, you have to see your doctor. No? Kasi marami siyang itatanong sa inyo, meron ka ba nito, meron ka nito, meron ka nito. Kasi kung ito, kunwari, for example, yun yung nakuha ng doktor mo, may isang vaccine for you. Ngayon, yeah. pag ikaw yung mas mahina, etc., yung sinabi natin kanina, mga pang, mahinang mga condition, no? iba na naman yung, yung regimen. No? Kung baga, parang uh, there's a specific uh, type of pneumonia vaccine for a specific patient. Ngayon, you go to your doctor kasi... Kung, kung indicated sa inyo mag-pneumonia vaccine, magpabakuna kayo, lalo na ngayon. No? And influenza, uh, trangkaso vaccine, both. No? Kung, ano, kung, yung, yung trangkaso talaga, kailangan yun. Eh. Kasi talagang every one of us will need every year. Yung oh, pneumonia, doc your doctor will tell you kung doc kailangan. Yung isa sa mga point ng question niya is, pwede ba yung patong-patong yung vaccine? Pwede, so may pneumonia pwede. vaccine, may COVID vaccine, may flu vaccine, kung ano-anong vaccine. Okay lang yun. Magsabay-sabay sa katika. Pwede, pwede. Pwedeng pwede. Basta sabay-sabay. In fact, yung mga nagmamadali, yung mga kunwari requirement yung vaccine sa ibang bansa, no? Okay. We actually vaccinate. Minsan, ano, anim, sabay-sabay. Ay, talaga? 
Hindi oh. yan doon pala, hindi yan mag-aaway-aaway yung mga <laughs> bakulan sa loob. Unless, ano lang, unless, uh, yun na nga, may mga certain, may dalawa klaseng vaccines, may inactivated vaccine, yun yung patay na na, na virus or bacteria okay. na... Okay. Kaya nga, huwag kayo matakot pag binigyan kayo ng inactivated vaccine, no? Kasi patay na 'yon. Hindi hindi ka magkaka hindi ka magkakaroon for example ng uh, ng uh, um, flu dahil oh. na binigyan ka ng patay na influenza vaccine. Okay? okay. So, 'yon, patay na 'yon. So, but uh, nawala ko na yung tanong mo. No, hindi 'yung sino patong-pato, bisibit sobra ng ah, oh, vaccines, oh. patong ba, no? Yeah, it's, that's not a problem. Your doctor will tell you kung hindi pwede. Kasi kunwari may inactivated tsaka may live vaccine, ang bawal lang is pag nabigyan ka na ng inactivated, bawal ka bigyan after a couple of days ng live vaccine for a number of weeks. Okay. So, but your doctor will tell you. Oh, yes. Pero kung doctor. sinabay mo yung, yung live tsaka yung inactivated, pwede. Pwede, pwede. Okay. Basta may, so, mga, may mga ganyan. So, trust your doctor, go to your doctor, they will tell you. Oh. Doc, last few minutes na lang tayo. Preventive po tayo. Kasi mas maigi yun na huwag ka nang magkatrangkaso. Kesa magkatrangkaso ka, tapos ititreat mo o gagamutin mo, Doc, di ba? Huwag na lang. So how do we prevent getting uh, the flu? We talked about it. The most important one is really vaccination. No? Okay, so yearly uh, influenza vaccine. No? Um, but uh, uh, afterwards, no? Definitely, the the things that we've been talking about, no, yung sabi natin, uh, cough etiquette. Pag umubo ka, uh, cover it with your, ano, or dito nga, tama si, si Alvin, ano. Uh, parang sa COVID din. Kaya nga, because of this COVID thing, no, actually, ito na yung dati namin sinasabi, parang mas na, natuto din tayo sa mga infection control measures, no. So sana, pag natapos na yung COVID, Hindi naman same na, pero yung yung basics gagawin pa rin natin yung cough etiquette, yung pag may sakit ka, o ka muna papasok, no? Uh, you just try to shy away from other people for now, no? Wash your hands before you touch your eyes, nose and mouth. So avoid so, crowded hands. places, no? Do we avoid, sakit, do they avoid crowded No, no, ibig sabihin, you as a preventive uh, mechanism do you avoid crowded places? Ah, wag kang pumunta sa mall kung ayaw mo magkatrangkaso, baka mahawa ka. Uh, well, no. Um, hindi naman, no. Okay lang. Siyempre, if you can if you can keep your distance, no. Okay. Kung nari, may buong mall tapos nagkasama-sama si kung nari, eh, kung nagkakagulo sila doon, no? oh, kumpul-kumpul. O kung kumpul-kumpul, pwede naman, kaya lang you protect yourself, watch watch okay. out lang baka mamaya may isa doon may sakit. But you know, um, eventually, COVID will end, no? And we can go back to to the previous, hopefully, you know? Um, uh, syempre, there's, there's a fear. There's a healthy dose of fear, eh, no? Let's maintain that healthy dose of fear only. Wag naman yung sobrang exaggerated fear. Kasi eventually, we, we should go back to, ano, to, to what we've been doing before. So, okay lang, Plus, Doc. the added benefit of what we learned from COVID. Yeah. So, okay lang, Doc, na mag-family reunion. Kung small family naman eh, okay lang yun. Uh, it's it's sa ngayon it's not recommended yung fam yung yung Christmas reunion na ano. Dapat small <laughs> gathering lang. Small, okay. dapat direct lang muna ano. Um, okay. Pero dapat yun nga maintain the masks, the shields, and we we recommend actually kung makakaroon ng ano ng uh, ng ganong klasing gathering no outdoors no kasi maganda yung Naba, malaking na ibababa sa ano eh sa risk oh. by uh, that outdoor uh, thing ventilation kasi maganda would you advise uh, uh, riding a plane a plane a plane ay ako may biyahe kailangan if you're, may... Go, if you're going to think about riding a plane it should be essential travel no? um, mm-hmm. at this time no it's best if you can avoid it try to avoid it first no kailangan essential talaga and you should follow all the protocols, no? Because these things are my protocol. Ito ba nito? Bakit? Bakit? Bakit hindi advisable na sumakay ng flight? Kasi may iba uuwi ng probinsya doon maki Christmas. Oh. Yung iba na yeah. pupunta ng Boracay, pupunta ng Sergao. Uh, uh, yung yung uuwi, no? Pwede yon, no? Kasi you're going home to your ano to your family. So that's major essential naman yon. Pero hmm. for travel to you know nga. 
uh, for leisure, no, we, we recommend against it. Because it's cold, right? We talked about ventilation, good ventilation outdoors. No? Okay. Um, ano siya? Uh, siya for uh, a good number of minutes. Diba ang sabi namin medyo safe na interaction is less than 15 minutes. No? Okay. Na kulub kayo sa isang area with other people that you don't know. No? Uh, pero yun, depende on where you're going, no? Uh, maybe hours, maybe less than an hour, maybe. Pero, oh, but but the airline industry has been doing a lot uh, to reduce risk din naman, no? Like, for example, it's an airplane naman, one way lang yun eh. Yung, yung may airflow sila na talaga na, no? Na nandun talaga sa airplane. Or balutin um, mo yung sarili mo, Dok, no? Or no. basta all throughout the flight, naka, ano ka, naka face mask and face shield. Yeah, and, the, and these days, may protocol na rin. So, mag, may swab na requirement, di ba? Yes. So, yes. that also helps, no? Kasi, although the, the swab is only 80% sensitive, for example, no? Uh, at least, marami kang matatanggal dahil puro negative. Kahit may okay. isa doon nakalusot, eh, lahat naman kayo naka-face shield yes. or mask, no? 